Hi friends, welcome to Love Good Kitchen. My name is Matthew, thanks for joining me. Today, um, we are going to make, well, first let me say this. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do something that they always tell you not to do. I'm experimenting with you all. Um, they always say don't try out new recipes for company um, in case they're terrible. Um, so, but you know, you're not really company. We're all cooking friends here, so we're gonna try it out. Also, I've been cooking long enough to know that this recipe, um, which I have not ever tried before, while it might not be amazing, it's at least gonna be decent. Um, the components and the methods are pretty simple and I don't see how it's gonna be bad. So we're gonna try it out, um, cause I want to, give this one a try. I've had this recipe book for a while. Let's see, is there a date on it? I don't know. Well, there's a month. How about a year? I don't know how long I've had this. Uh, 2019. Okay, so not super old. What is that? Five years? Six years? Um, so not too long. But it's called, what is it called? Dump and Bake. Horrible title. Um, but they're all quick to fix, um, generally quick-ish cooking recipes. I've tried many others from here that I like a lot. Maybe we'll do a couple of those together, but I want to try this one. So we're going to test it out. I'll let you know, um, when we get to the end, if it's good or not. Obviously, once again, I'm in my lounge around clothes, um, and my glasses. I did not get dolled up today. I've just been doing chores and baking and all kinds of things today. Um, I also have dirty dishes here. Here's the deal. I do, we have a dishwasher. I use it all the time, but I use that for the plates and the bowls and cups and all of that stuff, the flatware. But I have lots of things that I wash by hand, um, especially some of my Pyrex, my vintage Pyrex that I use all the time. I'm not going to put it in the dishwasher because I don't care what you say, the over a period of time, if you keep putting those items in the dishwasher, it, um, they get, if they're a clear glass, they start to get cloudy. Um, if they have a design or if they're the, I don't know what it is, painted or glazed or whatever, it starts to get funny. Anyway, I don't want to do it. So I wash things, um, stuff for the baby and the kids. I wash by hand. But here's the deal. I'm only going to do that once a day. Once in a while, I might do it more than once a day if I have a wild hair to, to do that. But so anyway, pardon the mess. But once again, this is real life here at Love Good Kitchen. So um, let's get started. I have a, yes, this is a plastic bowl. There is a story behind this. Um, I, as some of you know, I used to have my own business. I was co-owner of a dance studio. Um, for 10 years and there was one year, this is probably, hmm, might be 10 years or more ago, um, someone brought a bucket of candy, a bowl of candy to distribute to some of the students um, and they left this bowl behind and it was, remained unclaimed for quite some time. So I took it and you know what? I really like this bowl. It's got a little bit of a What's the word? It's not a spout, but a thing here for if you're pouring something out that helps that. Um, it's a great shape. It's a good depth. I like it. Anyway, so I'm using my orange plastic bowl. There's no brand or anything on it. I don't know where it came from. Um, but to the bowl, we're going to... Oh, I don't think I ever told you what we're making. So I'm making creamy shrimp and vegetable casserole. I'm sorry... To my friend Kathy, she does not like shrimp, so she's not going to be testing out this recipe. But um, everybody else, here we go. Oh, I do need a spoon. That would be helpful. Grab a spoon. Um, the recipe says to just dump everything in a bowl and mix it, but I think I'm going to make the get the sauce, so to speak, put together with the seasoning first because I just think that's going to go better as far as evenly distributing our seasonings. 
Um, this is one can of cream of celery soup. Undiluted, just straight out of the can. Straight up. On the rocks. No, it doesn't work. Okay, that there. So then I'm gonna put in the seasonings. Um, the recipe says to use, oh, I did wash my hands right before we started, by the way. So you trollers, leave me alone. <laughs> um, the recipe says to use some chopped green onion, but I'm being lazy today. This is about a tablespoon of minced onion. Put that in there. I also have about a half teaspoon of black pepper and about a half teaspoon of dried thyme. Put that in there. And then this is two cloves of garlic. The recipe says to mince them. Honestly, I don't really mince garlic anymore. I use my Pampered Chef garlic press. It's so easy. You don't even have to peel the garlic cloves. You just throw them in there, squish it, and you're done. So that's what I did today. I'm gonna use that to put my garlic in. Okay. I'm gonna give that a stir. Get it all mixed up. I don't want my pepper and garlic to be all in one spot. Okay, next up, um, we have, you're supposed to use a pound of shrimp. I like to get my shrimp frozen. You know I'm an Aldi shopper, or if you didn't know, you know now. I love Aldi. It's my favorite store. But Aldi does not sell shrimp in pound bags. It's 12 ounces. So I bought a 12 ounce bag of frozen shrimp. I um, defrosted it and I took the shells and the tails off, deveined, so this is ready to go. But because we have a little less than a pound of shrimp, I increased the amount on a couple of the other ingredients to kind of balance it out. I will say before I go any further. I know there's a lot of sodium in canned soups. However, I tend to think that depending on what you're doing, these things can be kind of bland. So just a little bit, I'm gonna sprinkle my shrimp that I just put in the bowl. I'm gonna sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle with a little, just a little bit of salt. I personally would rather have things a little over seasoned than to be bland, um, but that's just me. You do you, boo. Okay, we put our shrimp in. Then we are to have, uh oh, I'm losing my spoon. We're to have, what does it say? This says half a cup of asparagus. This I bought in a package frozen and again let it thaw. This is more of like a heaping cup worth of asparagus. I did cut it into um, smaller chunks, um, but this is to help even out the ingredients because I have a little less than a pound of shrimp. So I'm putting in the asparagus, and then this is half a cup of chopped, roughly chopped red bell pepper. Put that in, and then um, it says to use half a cup of fresh mushrooms. Um, I'm being lazy today, and I have two, how many ounce cans of, this is a, well, interesting. There are two measurements on here. It says seven ounces, and then dry weight, four ounces, whatever. I got two of them, that's what we're using. I did drain them, we're putting them in. Good to go, and then we are gonna give it a stir. It's colorful. Can you see the pretty red and green? And again, I don't really see how this is gonna be bad. It might not knock our socks off, and that's okay, but we're trying it. We're trying something new. Okay, 
let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything here because sometimes I do. Nope, I think we got everything. So I'm gonna use, um, we're to use a two quart dish. I'm gonna use my, one of my vintage Pyrex dishes. Yes, it is a little bit chipped here, but um, it's not sharp. So I feel like we're okay to use it. Um, I do have the matching lid that goes with it. I know, what? Um, we'll talk about that sometime when I do a Pyrex video, but it's very, it's not common to find the lids that go with some of these old casserole dishes. Anyway, we are gonna grease it. And let me tell you something about using non-stick cooking spray. I obviously have some and I use it for certain things. Maybe this is just me, but I find something like this where you just need to coat the inside, lightly coat the inside of a casserole dish so the food doesn't stick works perfectly fine. But there are other instances, especially if you're doing baking, where I would not recommend that you use nonstick cooking spray. It, I don't know. It, I don't know if it has to do with the temperature, but something gets funky, it gets a little gummy, and then sometimes it builds up and you can't get it off your pan, and it's just, it gets strange. So, having said that, got on a soapbox about cooking spray. We are gonna use it in this instance. I probably should do this over the sink in case I have overspray, but I'm living on the wild side today. That should do it. Okay, so we've got it all mixed together. Looks yummy. I'm gonna pour it into our dish. I have preheated the oven to, to what? 375. Are you annoyed at my scraping spoon sounds? <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna make it so it's even in there. Now we're going to put it into our preheated 375 oven and it says what? To cover. So we're going to cover it. That's another reason why I love Pyrex, um, the vintage Pyrex, because you have the lids and you can put them in the oven. The, all the new Pyrex stuff, which I love and I have some of, but okay, you give a, they give you a plastic lid, which is fine if you're going to store it in the fridge or something, but you obviously can't cook with that in the oven. So, my old Pyrex has got a glass lid. I'm gonna put this in the oven. We let it cook for 30 minutes and I'll bring you back. Hello. So, I'm sure you've noticed that this is different footage. I'm not wearing the same clothing and it's not the same time period as the rest of this video. So. I need to fill in the remainder of this video with um, this footage because, and it's totally my fault, um, but there is a learning curve going on here with my new equipment and my new editing program. Long story long, um, I have the audio file, but the remainder of this video, I don't know where it went. It, it's somewhere. <laughs> I it went away um, and Anyway, so we'll continue to explore and learn and figure that out. Um, but what is missing, luckily, is only a couple of minutes from the video, and it is when I pull the casserole out of the oven and I give it a taste test. And um, it did take about 30 minutes, and um, it was pretty hot, but I um, gave it a taste, and I was really surprised. It was above average, like almost super tasty. Like I would give it a, a B, maybe a B plus. I know, I knew it wasn't gonna be bad because of the ingredients and um, 
I could just tell from the recipe that it was it was going to be decent. But um, great texture. It was creamy. I liked the asparagus and the different vegetables with the shrimp. Um, the flavors and the seasonings worked well together. So I was pleasantly surprised um, about this recipe. Uh, so I would recommend you give it a try if you like shrimp. Um, and what else can I tell you? Um, I will list the recipe down below in the description box so you don't have to worry about going back and try to write anything down or anything like that. Um, so I will list that down below. And I do want to say, obviously, in addition to um, learning more about my new editing software and such, that um, we are working on some updates. I know in um, some of the videos there's a shadow line across my head, um, so we're working on some lighting options. And then also um, I do have a wireless mic that I purchased, but of course um, with the camera that I usually use to film my videos, I need a separate piece of equipment, um, a media adapter that can work with the wireless mic. So um, that'll all be coming and um, it'll just make videos better and better. I, um, I'm having a good time making some of this YouTube content. Um, so I hope to keep going, and I told myself when I started last month with these, uh, when I started back with the videos, that I wanted to keep up with it. And so I invested in some better editing software and some other stuff. Um, and like I said, I'm having a good time, um, but there definitely is a learning curve to some of this stuff. Um, and yeah, we'll get there eventually. But I hope you're having a good time with me, and um, yeah, let's keep going. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, it's totally free and that way you'll be notified when I post new videos and it also helps out my channel. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.